Hi, this is Bombo. This is about the Kona Mahuna. I don't know if you owned one before or you may be thinking about buying a new bicycle since the weather is about to be awesome in the next few weeks, actually. At the time of this recording, it is Saturday, March 19th, so spring is almost here. cycling which I am too I've been riding for about maybe four years but I never really took it seriously till a couple years ago and one thing that I first realized was getting a quality bicycle was very important to your experience so I'm gonna show you the bicycle that I own and at the same time little modification I've done to make it better depending on your riding styles so for myself I ride I ride the trails you know simple trails flat trails I also sometimes go on a little bit moderate trails when you're really going up the mountain a little bit, maybe some downhill, you're going to need to learn a little bit of skills like bunny hopping or maybe at least just a little wheelie, learning how to lift your rear tires so you can go over obstacles more. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there to teach you those basic skills that you should probably learn if you're going to moderate terrain, moderate trails. I literally spent hours on YouTube learning those and applying those skills every time I go out. Let's get to the video. This is the Kona Mahuna. And it's a little bit dirty and these bikes are supposed to be dirty a little bit. I took it in a trail the other day. It's a little bit wet and muddy. This retails about eight, nine hundred dollars, maybe a little bit more depending on where you're buying it. A few things I've added on this bicycle that made it a little bit more enjoyable in the trails. First is I switch the hand grips. These hand grips kind of complement a little bit with the color. It's an olive green. Got it on Amazon, very, very inexpensive. And if you guys want, I will put the links down below on the description. Basically, just screws it in an Allen key, you slide it on, tighten up, you're good to go. Another thing that I added was this right here. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, you can. It's just an emergency air pump. I don't use it. I normally pump my tires before I go on a trail but I have it there just in case I get a flat. I have an air pump in my car. So right before we go on the trail, I pump it up. And another thing I added, this is probably the best modification I've ever done on my bicycle. Worth every penny. And I think if you have a mountain bike, whether it's full suspension or a hardtail, you should have one of these. This right here, it's just a regular seat, right? Best investment I've ever done in my bicycle is dropper post. This seat post is made by Satori. I got it off of Amazon, about $99. There's so many options out there you can go. They are priced anywhere from $79 to upwards of $300, $400. It really depends on the kind of riding you do, how it works, and you can research a lot of YouTube videos on this. They make a lot of good informational video about the dropper post. But what he does, there's a lever here. When you press this lever right here by your handlebars, it raises your seat post up. You can adjust it depending on your height, but when it's up, it actually makes your riding a lot less challenging, especially if just, just going on flat roads or flat trails. Now, when you're about to go on a drop or you know, you, you're about to go over an obstacle, this can be sometimes dangerous or it just doesn't give you the maneuver bear the maneuver maneuver the maneuverable you can't maneuver as easy just your body weight and you hit the same lever and it drops the post or and it's kind of out of the way and you can maneuver the bike a lot better i'm not gonna lie i thought about getting a full suspension bicycle but they're a lot more expensive. They're a lot heavier than, than my trusty hardtail. But the hardtail really for the most riding that I do, it's, it's perfect. Thank you for watching. Again, this is Bombo. If you like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Catch you in the next video.